That's just a test of my uh, inverter circuit output waveform and it looks kind of a bit jankier than expected. Uh, but these bits here where the um, fits are actually conducting and these uh, janky bits are just caused by the inductive uh, kick of the um, of the transformer because you can see that uh, this which is just being taken I'm just using one of the uh, output jumpers as a kind of a crude current show my people there so the current gradually ascending there as to be expected from a simple resistive load Um, whereas, if there's a flu something like a fluorescent lamp, uh, there's a big current spike from the uh, cap inrush, but then it decays and then starts to rise. Also, uh, I'm just kind of going to crap there. Um, uh, there we go, so there's a peaks and then starts decaying, it's either an over damped or critically damped system, can't remember which. If I use a fluorescent lamp, okay, it's somewhat more rapidly, because again the resistive load just clamps the um, current spike. So bit janky than I was expecting but it works by the way I'm just using the um, uh, 20 uh, 6 volt secondary I'm just um, using part of it as a um, I'm just reading the potential off of that and I've got a couple of burden resistors just to uh, Try and clamp that and, and crap there. So, where is the touch? But nothing in on it. They're both dissipating a few hundred milliwatts each. Um, then um, that flickering is because the circuit's operating at about a hundred cycles per second. <coughs> Regulation isn't the best, so what I may try and do is uh, something like um, if the waveform smoothed or smooth, just use a um, RMS to DC uh, converter chip and just uh, maybe some kind of a compensating al algorithm in a uh, microcontroller or um, Or uh, an analog circuit just to control the uh, SG3524 uh, feedback. And that's the circuit unloaded. And fluorescent lamp only. And both. So it works, but uh, kind of um, me. The waveform needs probably a bit more work. Yeah.